Hi guys, welcome back to the Clash with Totters YouTube channel. And I've got uh, some very exciting news for you. I am now an official content creator for Unfair Warfare, a UK-based clan competing in multiple leagues across the game right now. I'm absolutely thrilled to bits to get a chance to work with these guys and bring you guys some absolutely fantastic content. Today, we're going to do a quick recap of their latest random spin war. Guys, as you can see, Unfair Warfare managed to get the win there, 58 to 55, pretty close. A lot of their top guys been rested for CWL Elite or whether it be MLCW as well. So, as they, a win's a win, and it's the most important bit. So, I'm going to bring you guys some triples and what uh, some really interesting strategies the guys have been using in this. It's a little wristy here coming in. To take on a variation of what looks like looks like Itsu's base. Um, pretty good Legends base, Legends League's base, but as I say, Risty's going to come in and do the business here. So dropping the Queen down at three o'clock. He's already pulled the enemy CC, which is three Ice Golems. He's got the Blimp coming in to take out the to take out one of the single Inferno um, compartments. Baby Dragon to help with funneling. So the Queen's going to work down this side of the base here. And then hopefully take out the Clan Castle, etc. And he's got Hybrid, Hybrid Cook, which is going to be coming down from that top part there. So King works down from 12 o'clock, along with the Baby Dragon. You see what he's doing? He's just trying to set a funnel now. So he wants the Hybrid to end up working down this part of the base here. And then obviously swoop back down and clear up the other side. So... Queen's still working down nicely. Hybrid goes in from one o'clock, along with the Royal Champion and the Grand Warden. Heel goes down around the Eagle Artillery, working into that middle Inferno compartment. He's, got, he's gone for an early Grand Warden ability just to keep everything going. And everything's looking pretty good so far. Raises the Queen down at the south. There's a lot of potential issues with that there. So you've got the Royal Champion, you've got the King, the Queen, you've got two scatter shots. So much going on. Royal Champion is still going. With ability. Ability takes out quite a lot of the point defences. Town Hall goes down to the Queen. Queen's still got ability. Beautifully raged. Ability goes down, takes out the enemy King. And we've got Miners, Kings for days. This is crushed, guys. Absolutely crushed. Really well thought out plan. Well executed. GG, Risty. Slim Warrior here coming in with the Yetis. A Yeti smash. A couple of Peckers. So... Yeti blimps that eagle compartment. He's got that down. Rages through. Managed to get down. He's going to get down the Royal Champion as well. Not looking like it, but as I say, managed to get that entire compartment down. It's just uh, missed out on the Royal Champion. So where is Slim coming down now? He is quaking straight through the middle of this base. So he's got an Electro Dragon. We've got Peckers for funneling now. Okay, interesting. So King, Queen come down, and all the Yetis are coming down, and four healers straight in. So the Quake did um, activate the Town Hall. Didn't bother using his ability, uh, Grand Warden ability. Now he's using it. So he's going to basically try and make sure that all those Yetis stay are through the Infernos. The Ice Golems coming at the CC are going to just slow everything down. Jumping through. And you've got Electro Dragon down at 3 o'clock. A lot of point defence is coming down now, but hopefully those Yeti Mites can take all that stuff out. All looking pretty good so far. Healer's still locking onto those Yetis.
Two of the Expos have gone down now. Queen's beating on a wall to try and be beat through. The Royal Champion coming in from the side. Clean up. There is no abilities left, no spells. So we're just watching now to see whether this is good enough. King goes through, takes out the scatter shot. That's going to be pretty OP. Electro Dragon still working nicely. Pekka working around the outside as well. And there you go. That is the triple, guys. So, yeah, really, really good attack. Um, using the Pekka for funneling and then obviously working into the base. And then he used E Dragon for cleanup. So, yeah, great job, Slim. Iron Man here coming in with Queen Charge Hogs. So you've got an exposed Town Hall at the top, guarded by the King. Pekka for funneling down at 2 o'clock. King down for funneling down at 4 o'clock. And the Queen is just working through. He's not dropping the healers just yet. Quakes there, which you don't normally see, with a Hog Attack. So really interesting idea, really trying to break into this base. Beautiful funnel set now. Queen's only got one place to go. Straight in through the heart of the base now. Got to get a ton of value in there. So I'm going to take down the Eagle Artillery. A load of point defences. Got to get that Bomb Tower. Both scatter shots and the Queen if the charge is successful. So as I say, really, really top plan in here. So Expo goes down. Sweeper goes down. He's got both scatter shots working on and those... Inferno's a target his healers. Has to use the uh, Queen ability. Get that Inferno down. Yep, perfect. So Inferno's down. A few point defences on him now. No more rages left. So Queen will go out at some point. Stone Slammer just to try and take out this side of the base. Pulls the enemy CC now. Which is two Ice Golems, a Loon and a Baby Dragon. Stone Slammer comes out. Out comes... Yetis. And then Hogs are coming down from the south now, working through nicely with the Grand Warden and the Royal Champion. Healing through the Infernos. Everything's looking tidy so far. Queen's still going, which is good because she's going to take out that enemy clan castle. Heal goes down. Still plenty of Hogs going. No more spells left. Grand Warden Internal Tome. Can we take that out? Town Hall. Oh, it was just a little bit early. Just a little bit early. Tornado Trap's going to just slow down those hogs. The Royal Champion's working on the enemy king at the moment. Unfortunately, the Queen's gone down. And there's an Ice Golem left. Oh, this is close. Ah, uh, Royal Champion. Absolute beast taking down the king. Minion for cleanup. He's got Wizards down there. One more minion to drop somewhere. And he's got it done. Fantastic. Really, really good attack there. Coming in from the opposite side of the town hall. So it always plays risky. In a multiple hit format, that's the way to go. Even though Risty tells me it's not. And there you go. That is the cleanup. GG Iron Man. Right, Adam, too good for you. Interesting base. He's coming in here. Very symmetrical. Coming in with a Yeti Smash with boulders. So we've got the Queen Walk working down from 8 o'clock. Wizard help. So going quite nicely so far. He's brought one Pekka, two Witches and Bowlers. So... We're looking at a Yeti Pekka Bow Witch. King down from 6 o'clock with some Wizards and the Siege Barracks. So again, really looking to try and just target straight into that Town Hall from here. We'd like that King and everything to work down this way, I would imagine. King's going to go take out the enemy King. Down comes the kill squad, quaking through the middle. Managed to get all that section open. Got to try and make sure those bowlers work in. It's looking like they're starting to wander. But that's good, nice rage there. 
and eternal time taking down the town hall are we going to get it done yes we are perfect a jump down there there's not nothing that's going to take it everything else has died in that area now so his main kill squad's going down the outside which is not too bad there is plenty of value down this section here yetis for days Wishes are still going. You can see those skellies still working through. Trying to get everything to work up now. There's a couple of the yetis going down to 3 o'clock. Raw champions going. We haven't got any spells. We haven't got any abilities left. So we're now just watching it. Single target on the raw champion. Not ideal. Can we take it down? Yep. Right now the skellies are going to uh, occupy that single target inferno. Still got plenty of troops left, guys. Queen just helping out. Inferno goes down. So we've got two archer towers, three cannons, a Tesla and a wizard tower. So still a few defenses left. Queen's starting beating on the wall. Yeti mites are going to go take out that wizard tower along with help with the witches. Queen's still going. He's just trying to keep her alive. Giant bomb. Oh, this is it. This is it. Crushed. Good job, Adam. GG. Super hit. Let's say symmetrical base. So BK's coming in with drag bats here. So he's got five bat spells. Don't tend to see too many bats at Town Hall 13. I miss bats. Bats were great fun. As I say, there is nothing here that's going to take these bats out, so... Let's so, say we've got that Archer Tower. Oh no, disaster. Am I going to disconnect? Nope. Taking down both sweepers. Now that is clutch. So you can send the drags in from wherever he likes now. Really good value there from five spells. From five spell slots. So Ice Golem's come out and he's got a couple of archers just to... Drag them away. You don't want the dragons locking onto them and slowing your attack down. Heavily baited up by that town hall. You can do with another couple of drops. Yep. Dropping the archer down, so. We'll see if you can try and take out these with as minimal value as possible. I'll be interested to see whether that's doable. Minions working on it. Right, Ice Golem goes down. Down go loons. So again, Ice Golem's there just to try and freeze up that enemy queen. Stone Slammer down and dragons. Got a rage taken down. One scatter shot already. Out comes Electro Loon. And Eternal Tome saving all those dragons. Could really do with that scatter shot going down. We want that scatter shot down now. And the Electro Dragon does it. So we've got King and Royal Champion. Freeze on that Inferno Tower and the air defenses. And no more spells. And he's popped his Royal Champion ability. Got to try and take down that. Eagle Artillery, which he's done, he's got now he's got just a couple of bits now. That Inferno Tower and that air defense. If that can go down quickly, this is absolutely crushed. Oh, superb hit. Really good by BK. Drag bats at Town Hall 13, hey? Eh? I miss the drag bats. I've already said that, but maybe we'll have to give it a go sometime. But that was really well thought out and the rest is history, BK. Good man, GG. And we've got Kenty here coming in with a, another Yeti smash. So it drops a couple of peckers. And a jump spell. So you're starting to see quite a lot of these bases. Now, Yetis are coming through. Coming in opposite side of the town hall. Royal Champion's going to take down the scatter shot. 
raging through that top side of the base. He's got a siege barracks coming down right by the town hall, which is, yeah, it doesn't get massive value out of it, to be fair. But Rage is going to come down. Yeah, he's come out. So all he's done is, all he managed to do was get that, get that pecker. We've got a lava hound and an ice golem. Let's come out of the CC. Grand Warden Eternal Time. So we've got a ton of Yetis left. Yeah, he might, don't quite take down that Expo. There's a Queen there that's just trying to try and take out that single target. Locked onto the Hound at the moment. Poison's already gone. Got wizards down there, which will hopefully help with the pucks. Pecker and Yeti still working through that. Expo is going to be frustrating, locking onto the Grand Warden, which means the healers have come off the Yetis. Queen still has ability. It's all looking good. It's just that Expo. That's the only defense left on the map, apart from this single cannon up top, which will not be an issue. Yeti mites, can they take it down? If not, the Queen's going to do it. And as I say, this is absolutely crushed. So good job, Kenzie. Really, really good attack. Triple on the board. And all helping out. GG. There you go. There's just a handful of triples there, which were good enough to get us the win. So... Thank you very much. That was a hell of a lot of fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you to the guys at Unfair Warfare for helping me uh, get some content out there and bring this to you guys. As I say, if there's anything you want to see in the video, just drop, drop me a comment in the box below. If you like this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.